So save your, your rings um, because when you put this piece of um, this holder, the ground glass holder, you put it inside the, the UV um, ring and then you take the ring that holds the glass, that would originally hold the glass, and then you just slide it back in and then you twist it so it locks and it holds down the, uh, the GG holder. Now, um, once you have that installed, um, I suggest drilling a hole on the other side on a different 72 millimeter um, ring. And then you feed the wires that you put in, which are just positive and negative wires. I got mine from Radio Shack, pretty cheap. And then I suggest you know, soldering it and also hot gluing it because the hot, what you can do with a glue stick gun is that it'll add extra strength. So if you pull on it like I just did and it ended up pulling this out, which is bad, but I'll refix that later. Um, but basically it'll just hold it in better and it'll also um, keep, if you, if the two wires hit, it won't sh short circuit the whole system and break your motor. So the, um, the glue almost acts like electrical tape, keeps any um, electrical anything going through, passing through anything else, so it's nice. So once you have that set up, um, put a hole through another UV ring and then feed your wires through. And mine kind of just come right through and I can just pull it and you'll see that they feed right through here and then go up. And um, you kind of want to keep the ring loose so when you spin this um, the I'm tightening it and the tension being pulled in between here and the screen will keep it in place and basically yeah so you can tighten it and so when you have once you have that installed uh, you're gonna need a step down ring um, the reason why you need a step down ring is because you're gonna have to get um, a mount for your lenses in order to attach um, I use a 55 millimeter uh, ring to attach to the mount um, that allows me to mount lenses right here. So as you can see, it clicks right in and then you've got your holder. Now um, what I did is I took uh, from the screen, there are one, two, two uh, UV uh, pieces, glass holders, which hold, one holds the, um, the vibrating uh, GG adapter, and then I have two more to space it, and then I've got the 72 millimeter to 55 millimeter step down. It's an Asian, it's really cheap, it comes from like China or something. Um, and so basically once those are all set up, um, then you can attach your makeshift lens holder. Um, mine's really complicated, but I'll explain in a second. Um, but the hardest part about doing all of this is figuring out the proper length in between to where your lens is being hold held in and where your screen needs to be. Because what happens is in order to get an image onto this screen, you need to properly distance um, your lens from the screen in order to get an image that's in focus. Uh, you'll probably end up having to go through a lot of tests in order to figure out which is the proper distance to focus it. I mean, as you can see now, when I pull it away and push it forward towards the screen, it changes the focus. I mean, you can't really tell because I'm filming through this iMac like thing. Um, but uh, yeah, once you figure out the proper distance to align the the lens and the ground glass, you're gonna have to then put in place to where your um, your lens mount is, and then you can attach it. And you may have to make a lot of adjustments to get this perfect. I mean, luckily, I just kind of attached these, and it ended up being just the amount of the right amount of distance. And then once you attach this to that, 
you'll get a properly properly focused um, ground glass and it will come up with the right image that will focus on the proper spot so right here I'm at a foot and a half and then that's where at a foot and a half whatever is in the foreground at a foot and a half should be in perfect focus and then when I swing this to infinity on the lens everything in the background that's beyond should be in perfect focus if you set this up and if you focus to infinity and it is out of focus but it's focused at maybe let's say like 10 feet that means that you have spaced it too close to the ground glass and that you need to pull it away farther um, if you can't focus to infinity that means that your lens is too far away and you need to push it a little closer to the ground glass um, so making those adjustments is very crucial in order to get the perfect um, balance of where the focus should be and once you figure out that distance um, then you should be ready to go with you know setting this all up um, now what I did here is I took a Viv Vivitar uh, teleconverter, which is, you know, those two times um, lens converters that basically, you know, let's say you have like a 50 millimeter lens, you can pop a, a, a two times lens converter and it'll make it 100 millimeter. Anyway, besides the point, um, I took one of those and um, I dissembled it for this front piece because this piece right here. Um, allows you to attach a lens and it will keep it in place very tight and then you have a little button here that allows you to pull it out. Um, so this piece is really nice. Now the nice thing about this Vivitar thing is that I can take everything else off that is part of the lens and um, I figured out that I can attach this 55 millimeter ring right onto the back of it. Um, and I glued it right in with some Gorilla Glue and it's really strong so it sticks there and so now I have basically just a lens holder um, or it's a bayonet that allows you to hold the lens and um, then I have 55 millimeter back so I can screw it anything that's 55 millimeters so I mean like this lens has a 55 millimeter front I can attach it onto here I know that doesn't serve any purpose, I'm just showing you that though, like this will fit anything that's 55 millimeter. So now that I have my um, ground glass and everything distanced correctly, um, with the 72 millimeter to 55 millimeter step down, um, I can attach this and screw it in perfectly. So now that it fits, everything's good, uh, it'll allow me to now attach a lens and it's everything's distanced correctly and it's solid and it's not gonna move nothing's taped everything's screws and glue so that's the nice thing about doing these is that you have to make sure that you are very clean and uh, I mean you can do it like the get out sketchy way and just glue everything together I mean it's not gonna be very sharp though and it's not gonna be very accurate because I mean if this isn't perfectly straight let's say it's like a little bit lopsided like that with just these, if you I mean if you use tape and stuff, it's it could be lopsided. So, and then you won't get a perfectly focused image. So, just making sure, like the reason why I use all screws and adapters and stuff like that is because it keeps everything in line and perfect distance, and everything's not going to be iffy. So, once you have that set up, um, that's good. Um, the reason why I put I left the glass on this 55 millimeter. Um, UV is because it keeps any dust from coming in through the front of the adapter to touching the ground glass on the front side. So on the front side, anything, so let, let's say I'm taking a, a lens off, any dust that comes in cannot go onto the adapter, I mean the uh, screen. And the reason why you can't have any dust on this is because any tiny little scratch, dust, anything, will be in perfect focus. It's like everything you're filming is this screen. So if you have anything on it, it's going to blow up on the screen or whatever you're watching, and it'll be like this huge spot. And the nice thing about a vibrating adapter is that it gets rid of most of those, but the main purpose of a vibrating adapter is to get rid of the grain 
that the screen has. So don't rely just on the vibrating adapter to get rid of your dust. I would still put in UV glass to make sure that nothing comes in and constantly clean this because it will get rid of image quality even if you can't see it.